Welcome to Cloud Shrining, a completely free knowledge sharing platform for everyone. This is part 9 of Oops Concepts Shrining program. In this lesson, we will learn how to instantiate a class. When we instantiate a class, we have access to the members which are available from the class and hence we can implement the logic. Now let's see an example of how to instantiate a class in different ways. Here I have opened a Visual Studio from our previous lessons and created a console application called Instantiating Classes. In this main program, we have added a class and a structure. The class contains two properties, ID and name. And the structure contains X and Y properties and a method which accepts two parameters as input parameters. We will we will use this class and structure to instantiate in our main program. Here we have added here I have opened the Visual Studio solution from our previous lessons and added a console application called instantiating classes and added a class and a structure. This class contains two simple properties called ID and name and the structure contains a method my first structure with the uh, with two default input parameters this is the constructor of this structure remember we cannot create a default constructor for the structure we have discussed this concept in detail in classes and structures in our previous lesson. Now let's go to the main program and instantiate a class and create object and name it as object1. We have instantiated a class using a new keyword. This is the first way. Since we have the object and public members available, we are able to access ID and name properties and assign the values 1 and the walker to these properties. Now let's print out these properties to the console saying that value of id is 1 and name should be Divakar. Let's run the application. Here we can see that value of id and name are printed to the console. Now let's see the another way of instantiating a class. Here when we are instantiating the class we have assign the values to the members of the class. This is another way. Now let's print out the object two values to the console and see the output. This is the first result and the second one we have the value two and the name is Alex. This is how we can instantiate classes in different ways. Now let's see how we can instantiate structure. So for this we will create the object for the structure using the same new keyword and let's print out the values here here we have int x and y remember structures when we uh, create an object of a structure the default constructor is invoked and the values are assigned the default values are assigned to the members of the uh, structure let's run this We can see that x value is 0 and y value is 0. These are the default integer values assigned when the structure is instantiated. Let's see the second way and pass the required parameters. Here we have passed the required parameters since we have a default constructed with the two parameters. We are instantiating this. Now run the application. That was too fast. So we have x value 10 and y value 10 which are passed to this constructor. Since uh, structures or value types we don't need to create the object. Even if we specify a structure like this and assign a value to it and print it to the console it should result the values x and y here. 
we will upload the code and this solution to the github cloud training repository thanks for watching have a great day